pulled pork sandwiches. Hi, I'm Jonathan Jones, founder and pit master of Smokin' Hope in Phoenix, Arizona. Our mission is to spread hope through the love of barbecue. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make pulled pork sandwiches. So we're gonna be starting off with an eight to nine pound pork shoulder roast, olive oil, salt, uh, coarse black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, chipotle powder, and of course, because it's backyard barbecue style, you gotta make sure that we include brown sugar as well, just like that. I typically like to let this sit overnight, um, bare minimum, at least let that rub sit in for 30 minutes. So place it on the smoker, just like so, and we're gonna let this smoke for a good three to four hours at 275. Big secret about barbecue is the fact that if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Don't try to check on it too much. Let the smoke do what it's supposed to do. All right, pork shoulder sitting at 165. We're gonna go ahead and just pull this off. Place that into an aluminum pan. Get it covered up with some foil. Put it right back on the smoker. Close that lid. So our pork shoulder has hit 200 degrees internally. Just gonna pull it off. Oh yeah. I'm gonna let this pork shoulder rest for about an hour before we uh, pull it apart and start making our sandwiches. You know this thing is done to perfection when you can tug on this little shoulder blade bone and it just comes right off of the meat there. And then from there, I just dive in and get to shredding this, this pork apart. This is barbecue, so don't worry about being too pretty. Top it with some sauce. Can't have pulled pork without a nice dollop coleslaw right over the top. My love of barbecue started as a young kid. My family, we always had cookouts and barbecues. Later on in life, when I started a family, I wanted to be able to create those same memories. I'm still at it today, but I'm just doing it for the community now. Back in 2018, my wife and I were having this huge party. Plans fell through and uh, next thing I know, my wife and I are staring at each other with all this food that we've prepared. And uh, I just could not sit with the fact that we were gonna throw all this food away when there's people out there hungry. So we decided to gather up all the food, take it downtown Phoenix and pass it out to the community. From there, I started Smoking Hope. So every time we have a cook, we cook all the meat, we prepare all the meals, our volunteers help us, you know, package everything. We load up cars, we head out into the community, and we try to feed as many people as possible. We cook brisket, pulled pork, chicken, turkey legs. If it can be barbecued or smoked, it's fair game. Brisket, <laughs> potato, oh, and cheese. Oh, thank you. Since the start of Smoking Hope, we've been blessed enough to provide over 1,200 meals to those in need. These meals are free of charge and they're available to anyone. If you're someone in need, we serve you. So for the longest time, the way we got donations was just through word of mouth. We have created a GoFundMe page. We are trying to start a food van so that again, we can be more mobile than ever. This is more than barbecue. We wanna be a resource for those in need to not only feed them, but also help people uh, take steps to get them back on track in life. A lot of people don't know where the next meal is coming from and uh, they're literally walking the tightrope of life. And uh, the fact that, you know, I can provide some hope, some inspiration, some positivity to them, even if it's just for that moment, it means everything to me. We want to make sure with some of the help of our friends that you can keep doing your good works. Wonderful pistachios. And I mean, wonderful pistachios. I happen to love pistachios. I'm a Sicilian. It's in my <laughs> But wonderful we pistachios. Smoke some pistachios. Yes, heck yes, heck yes. They are giving you ten thousand dollars to keep doing your good works. Ten thousand wow. dollars. What? <laughs> what?